I'm here with Dr. George Bittar and Dr. George, congratulations because you got an award yesterday. Thank you very much. It was very exciting. Now, what is this one for? So it is for the top plastic surgeons of the East wow. Coast and the uh, top aesthetic uh, providers. It's a very proud moment and I'm uh, very appreciative of the Aesthetic Everything Awards to have granted me that. I. Um, it's very uh, humbling and uh, very exciting. That's very exciting. So we're here to talk about your practice. Yes. Tell me about your institutes and what you do. What's your rhinoplasty? Is I your do speciality? rhinoplasty as one of my favorite operations, but at the Bitar Cosmetic Surgery Institute is in Washington, D.C. It's a full service cosmetic institute. We have two board certified plastic surgeons that we do all body work and facial work. We have the only uh, ASAP's American Society of Aesthetic Plastic Surgery endorsed fellowship in Washington, D.C. So we're very proud of our staff. We have a full uh, aesthetic uh, gamut of uh, skin care, lasers, non-surgical body contouring. So essentially, we're the place that you come to to make your dreams come true. <laughs> That's what we like. That's what we like. You said you do, you do everything. We but do. Then, but why is rhinoplasty one of your favorites? It what is, is it about rhinoplasty? You know, I trained here in Beverly Hills and I trained all over the world with the top plastic surgeons in the world in Paris, Rio de Janeiro, New York. And I've sort of accumulated the secrets of the top plastic surgeons that I trained with. And basically the nose is one of the most difficult and most artistically challenging operations in plastic surgery. And art is what got me into plastic surgery. I love to paint, I love photography. And so the challenge of making the nose fit somebody's face and rather than making it an artificial nose is something that's very appealing to me. And making it look natural because the nose is that's something true. you can normally always spot if somebody's that had it done. True. So the trick is to make it natural, make it pretty and give, make that nose ethnically matching that person's face. You don't want to give you know, somebody who is Latin a Northern European nose. Yeah. So that's the challenge, but that's also the beauty of it, yeah. right? <laughs> so what are you finding that most of your clients are coming, what are the majority of your clients coming to you and asking to be fixed? So because we are a full uh, plastic surgery institute, we do body and face, we have two plastic surgeons that we are specialized in also body contouring after massive weight loss, facelifts. Uh, I've written recently a chapter in a book on neck lifts, so a suture suspension neck lift. And also my other favorite operation is breast augmentation from the armpit, transaxillary breast augmentation that leaves no scars on the breast. So I enjoy doing a little bit of this, a little bit of that. My latest patented procedure is the model lift. And a model lift is basically a non-surgical way of improving somebody's features without having any surgery. So what do all models who are a million dollar runway models have in common? They have a very nice symmetry between the nose, the cheeks, the lips, and the jawline. So by making those uniform and making them more working together, it creates a beautiful facial structure. And, and how that's are you doing that non-surgically? So the way we do it non-surgically is a combination of three things. We use uh, fillers, we use neurotoxins or muscle relaxers, and we use laser. And in one setting, I can do them all at the same time. And sometimes we use the silhouette contour thread lift. So if we need to do a little bit of pulling, we use the threads. If we need to do volumizing, we, need, we use the fillers cheeks, lips, and jawline, uh, I can create a lot of nice symmetry without any surgery. And for those lines in the forehead, between the eyes, and the upper face, that's where neurotoxins uh, or muscle relaxants come into place, like Botox, Dysport, and Xeomin. Uh, for the cheeks, you know, I like Radius because it gives a nice volumizing. For the lips, Bellotero or Restylane or Juvederm. So there are different tools in the box that we use, but the ultimate goal is to give that somebody who does not want a facelift or who does not need a facelift a nice contouring. You know, we live in the age of Instagram and we live in the age of social media where people have 10 different filters to make their nose look good, to make their cheeks plumped up. I can do that in 20 to 30 minutes in the office. In That's reality, to 20, to minutes, yes. 20 to 30 minutes, yes. 20 to 30 minutes? 20 to 30 minutes that I do it, I'm fast. So they come to you and they don't have to worry about the filter. That's pretty much it. <laughs> <laughs> Saves you a lot of time.
<laughs> what about correct. your body contouring? Tell me about the body contouring. So body contouring is one of the surgeries that we do that we specialize in, in the sense that when somebody loses a lot of weight and Unfortunately, a lot of people in this country are obese. They undergo weight loss operations like gastric bypass or like duodenal switch or gastric sleeve, and they end up losing 100 pounds. Some few people lose it without any surgery, but that's the exception, that's not the rule. And so what we do is we look at that person and decide with the patient, what is it that they are bothered by? Is it the loose skin in their tummy? Is it the thighs? Is it the neck? Is it the arms? Is it the breast? Or is it everything? My partner, Dr. Larry Lickstein, and I, who have both trained in body contouring after massive weight loss, uh, can devise a plan where we can do the surgeries in half the time. So for example, I can do the uh, neck lift and the arm lifts while he does the tummy tuck and the thigh lifts. So instead of it doing a six hour operation, we can do it in three hours at the same time. So that's one of the advantages that we have, you know, over other practices where they have one plastic surgeon and you have to stagger the operations. And get it all done at once. Pretty much, you yeah, know. Uh, of course, it has to be safe. Yes. You know, uh, we operate at Fairfax Hospital in Northern Virginia, which was one of the top 50 hospitals in the country. Uh, I've written an article about safety of plastic surgery under general anesthesia. We reviewed 4,700 patients, so we take our patient's safety first and foremost as very important. Well, thank you so much. Well, thank you for having me you here. You really do do it all. We pretty much have yeah. a, a, a nice team. We have about 26 staff members at the Bitar Cosmetic Surgery Institute. We have two full-time estheticians. We have all the body contouring procedures, full sculpt, M sculpt, Exilis, all therapy, uh, all the lasers. Um, so basically, if somebody comes to us, our goal is to make them happy. So they come back for other things. They bring us their friends, their family, and we have a little bit something, something for everyone. <laughs> Dr. Bittal, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Congratulations on this. Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> it was lovely chatting to you. Thank Likewise. You. Thank you. If you want to follow us on social media, it's at the Bitar Institute. Our website is www.bitarinstitute.com and we are located in the Washington DC metropolitan area. And we would love to be able to give you something, something to uh, make you feel happier, better, and more confident about your natural looks.